Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Peyton and today I'm back with another video. As you all have read by the title, today I'm back with another updated worst hair vendors list. So I did a video like this last year and it got a lot of love from you all and a lot of you all told me that I should continue making more videos like this. So I've decided I'll do this video once a year just to give you guys an overall review for the hair companies that I hated the most that I reviewed and also the hair companies that you all additionally told me that y'all didn't like either. I'm gonna go ahead and hop right in. I don't want this video to be too long but before I get started please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you guys hit that bell so that you never miss another video that I post and let's go ahead and hop in. So I have my worst hair vendors list written down right here um i have five worst hair vendors that i have for you guys i don't know why i put top or maybe it could be a top five worst I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys the hair company why i didn't like their hair and what hair that i tried from them and also if i've heard any bad reviews in my last worst hair vendors video so the first hair company that i have on here is julia hair so i actually tried two wigs from julia hair and they attempted to send me a third one the first wig that i had from them was a highlights wig it was like a honey blonde and a brown highlights wig and it was straight um so that wig it wasn't too bad but then i wore it for like a week or two and i just didn't really like the lace now i won't say like the hair quality was that bad like the hair shed and stuff like that but i didn't really like the lace like the lace just wasn't it and they said that their lace was transparent but the lace was brown and i just didn't like that then they sent me another wig i did not end up doing the review for this wig because the wig was just so horrendous they basically lied to me and told me that it was going to be a lace frontal wig but when i got it it was a lace closure wig with a thick scalp personally i don't really like thick scalp wigs because i feel like they're harder to customize and actually get them to melt into your scalp but they sent me up this red wig i took some pictures in it and it does look okay in pictures but in real life it really just did not look good like the lace was super duper dark the fake scalp it was just it was a it was just a hot mess and the wig was just i just didn't like it and it was like a completely different color from on their website like on the website the hair was burgundy and when i got the hair it was like a ketchup red and i just didn't really like it other people like the hair but personally i didn't like it and i felt like it was just shedding so much and tangling so much and it would start matting up in the back and i was just like see i tr i gave their hair a try the first time and it was cool like you know it wasn't the best and i said that in my review but then once i tried this red hair i'm like okay no i was cool off of it yeah y'all it, it was just too much now i won't say that this is like the complete worst company on this list but in terms in terms of transparency, also heard a lot of bad reviews about Julia Hair in the comments of my other top worst hair vendors list. A lot of you guys were saying Julia Hair seeing you guys bad hair. So to any of you guys watching, if you should buy Julia Hair, I don't think so. I've heard bad reviews about it in the comments. That that's a vendor that's just not gonna work for me. The next hair vendor that I have is I Define Wig. Now the way that I started working with I Define Wig was actually funny because somebody sent me a picture that they used of me. Now this happens to me all the time. Companies steal photos that are not theirs they take photos of influencers and people who are not wearing their hair and then they say it's their hair just because it's the same kind of wig but i don't feel like that's transparent that's that's not transparent so i publicly posted them on my um instagram and i said this is not their hair da -da 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 -da. so then they reached out to me and they're like oh you know can we send you a wig and i was like you know what sure you know if y'all want me to take pictures of the hair for y'all to use sure send me a wig they sent me this curly bob wig and at first i actually liked the hair it was cool it was nice it was soft and it wasn't even like deep curly it was like loose curly i got this hair it was okay for like the first week then the second week, it just started matting up terribly, tangling up. It was so bad. The nape, oh God, y'all. Not even a month, a week, a week. And that hair was matted up, tangled, just ugly. And they kept reaching out to me. And a lot of times I really feel bad when these hair companies have really nice customer service, but they're just not transparent. Like on top of taking a picture that wasn't theirs and saying that it was their wig, Y'all actually sent me a wig. I gave y'all a try and the wig was horrendous. That's another hair company that I would not recommend. They have a lot of ads all over Instagram using pictures of people's hair and influencers that's not theirs, that they don't have rights to, that they don't own. And I really feel like these companies need to get sued for using hair and pictures that are not theirs. It's a lot. The next hair company that I want to tell you guys is one of my worst hair vendors is Elowear Hair. Now, I know y'all probably gonna be like, girl, didn't you just say that it was one of your best hair vendors? Yes, I did. I initially said that they were the one of the best hair vendors because I tried, I, 
I tried like two wigs of theirs. The first one was actually really, really bomb. The first wig that they sent me was bomb. Then the second time that I worked with them, they actually sent me bundles and I created a wig and that hair was also pretty good. It wasn't terrible. Say for the bundles installation, the bundles and the frontal installation, I didn't like that frontal at all, but I did like the bundles. The hair quality was still good. And the first wig that they sent me, I really don't even remember what it was. It was probably like curly or something like that. I'll have that picture in here, but I, it was cool. That one was good. They sent me a blonde 613 wig, and that wig was horrible. Now, in my review, I did say that it was shedding and tangling up, but I ended up wearing that hair for like another month, and it literally just got worse and worse and worse. It didn't look that bad, but like combing it, it would shed all over the place. It would tangle. It would mat up. It was just bad, and it would not hold a curl, but it couldn't hold a curl. I ended up dyeing the hair green which I shouldn't have even done that. It was just a hot mess. That wig was just a hot mess. And I counted that blonde wig and also the wig that they sent me. The first wig that I got from them was good. The second wig that I got from them was okay. The third wig that I got from them was terrible. And also in my worst hair vendors video, the last one that I uploaded, I saw a lot of comments about how Elowear hair sends influencers good hair and does not send their customers good hair. And like I told you guys, I value transparency. And I know, you know, since I'm an influencer, I do have privilege over the hair that I'm receiving. So I like to be honest with you all and tell you all the real deal. So if I do ever get some hair and I don't like it, or I do get some hair and y'all tell me y'all don't like it, I would like to give that information to other people. Here's another hair company to watch out for, Elowear hair. I have not heard the best reviews from them from you guys. And I've had my own bad experience with them as well. The next hair company that I will say is really, really terrible is Miss Lynn Hair. So Miss Lynn Hair, I believe they actually reached out to me over Instagram. And it's crazy because I saw like so many good reviews about them. Like usually before I do a hair review, I look at other hair reviews to see, you know, if it's a trusted site. So most times I do see people saying positive things about a company. I thought the hair was going to be good, but... To my surprise, that hair was horrendous. But y'all, I promise you guys, I loved this wig so much. Like, when I got it, it was so cute. They sent me this curly bob wig, and I loved it so much. Like, the baby hair was bomb. The texture was bomb. That hair was bomb for, like, a week. I made my hair review. I told everybody it was bomb. Then I also made, like, an extra comment on the video saying this hair sheds, tangles, naps up, all of that. And I pinned it. Y'all, that hair matted up so bad. Like... It wasn't even funny and I was so mad because it started shedding and tangling not even like two weeks later and I'm like this is just another prime example of these hair companies it's just like come on now and then they kept reaching out to me too and it's just like you know like I said <laughs> I just be feeling bad when they keep reaching out to me because it's just like I can't do it if you send me bad hair one time needless to say I really don't want to try your hair again even if you are one of the companies mentioned in this video no I don't want to work with you all again you know I gave you the shot and it is what it is because once again miss lynn hair is another hair company once i actually did some deep digging i found out that they don't really send most of their customers good hair i saw a lot of the comments in my last video too uh, miss lynn hair that's another no go now honorable mention is eunice hair i'll be honest with you guys when i tried eunice hair's wigs they were actually pretty bomb this is another company that i put in my top vendors hair list last year because personally I felt like their hair was bomb like I said this video is not just about my experiences this video is about you guys experiences and what you guys tell me and I had a lot of people telling me that Eunice hair is trash Eunice hair sends uh, their customers bad hair you know and I don't like that I don't like that and they still reach out to me to this day I'm gonna be honest and everybody tells me all the time in the comments Eunice hair is trash Eunice hair is they don't send they don't send their customers good hair this and that and I'm not with it okay so Eunice hair y'all need to send y'all customers better hair okay y'all need to stop playing these customers y'all cannot be sending these influencers good hair and sending the customers bad hair that's really it for my top five worst hair vendors but I do want to add I really do understand where you guys are coming from when y'all you know say like influencers get better hair than customers and influencers get the best hair and influencers are is this and that you know somebody like me when y'all sit on here and comment and call me a liar saying like the hair that y'all got is bad that's not reflected upon me like I always say yes we get good hair but there's other people that got good hair from them too the cons outweigh the pros and it's more people getting bad hair than good hair I can understand that but a lot of times I'll see you know 
the same individuals going and commenting on a bunch of my videos saying like, oh, she's a liar. Not that I feel attacked, but I feel like that is like an attempt to attack me. I mean, it's fine. I understand if y'all are upset because you got some bad hair. If you did watch a video of mine and I did persuade you to buy some hair and you didn't like that hair, I always tell you guys the first thing to do is reach out to the hair company and try to get you some new hair. If they don't respond, then I can completely understand being upset because you wasted your money. The best thing to do is to reach out to me and tell me what hair companies you did and didn't like so that I can let people in the future know. I'm just going to let you guys know I really don't appreciate being called a liar because I never want to lie to you guys. I never want to give you guys false information. I can only speak from my experiences and in videos like this, I can speak from the experiences of others. Before I end the video, I just want to let y'all know to head over to my channel and make sure y'all watch my top five hair vendors list. Now, I was actually a little bit more careful with this. This list and I made sure that I tried to put the top five hair vendors list that I've heard good reviews from you guys and less bad reviews from so yeah don't forget to do that say I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up make sure you guys comment down below what your worst hair vendors that you've tried were if you guys have purchased any of the hair vendors that I mentioned in here and had a bad experience or a good experience yourself and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching bye